Hey lovies, welcome back to my channel. Please forgive me right off the bat for my voice. It's still pretty raspy and a little weird sounding. So I'm gonna make this short and simple. But first I just wanna thank everybody for the well wishes and for all your thoughts and prayers. It was most appreciated. I think I'm finally on the upside of this bronchitis type crap. It's been hanging on forever. <laughs> and then now with all of the um, coronavirus and all that stuff going on not only was I quarantined before it all hit the fan but now we're like self quarantining and not being able to go anywhere so what else is there to do but work on some crafts so I remembered that I had some really cute stickers that I had found before all this happened from the Dollar Tree and I thought oh those would make such cute pocket letters so I thought I would share them real quick with you guys today like I said this is just going to be a quick little short video <clears throat> I don't want to like make your ears bleed with my voice you should have heard me like three days ago <laughs> really and truly I sound a little better but um, I'm gonna put a little clip right here of the stickers that I'm talking about. You guys may have remembered I hauled these um, about a week or two, maybe a little longer. I forget that I've been like sick for over a week. So maybe like three weeks ago. And I also found those awesome um, butterfly die cuts. Those were an amazing find from the Dollar Tree. And I will be using those in so many projects. I have so many ideas for those. So I really just wanted to use those stickers and those die cuts. And because we really can't get out, I also remembered that I had um, little mini pocket letters. And even down to the sequences that I made my sequence mixes out of, those are all the sequence packs that you can get from the Dollar Tree. You know, there's like six of them in like a pack and they have like, as they go down the road, they have different colors. Well, I just, I had a whole bunch of those on hand and mixed them. So with all of that fun stuff that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, I came up with these two adorable mini um, pocket letters. I thought they turned out really, really cute. So the first one that I worked on is very, um, you know, very springy, if you will, um, with all of the different colors. And it is one of the pocket, um, the mini pockets where the bottom pocket is larger. This is a whole pocket and then there's two at the top. So <clears throat> I even did a little something different with this one. I thought it'd be really fun to stick an envelope in the back and then have like some goodies and stuff back in here. And there's like a little envelope in the back here that's stamped. So I thought that'd be a fun way to like send some goodies as well. And then that's the paper that I use. And then that just, and because it's acetate, you can see it through the acetate, which I thought was really fun. And then that little lip will stick over like that. So I thought that was a lot of fun. And I made um, homemade paper clips for each of these. So you may recognize this is one of the stickers that came from the Dollar Tree. Of course, I just hot glued it on the back and put a little plastic on it so it doesn't fall off. But I wanted to use one of the large paper clips so that it kind of all tied um, together. So like I even made like a few little embellishments to go with all of this as well. So it's just putting it all back together. There we go. And then here is the sweet sequence, sequence, I can speak. The sequence mix that I made for this little spring pocket letter. And then I, if I turn it over, you guys will see. I did use my fuse tool. So just to cover up that ugly fuse tool mess, I just put a little piece of washi tape over it. And I even made my own little dangle here with the um, little guys that I picked up a couple weeks ago and I just used my um, crocodile here I believe that's yeah crocodile to uh, put them in this is a great tool it does all kinds of different things I think I paid like $19.99 for this if you're an avid paper crafter this is definitely like a tool that you might want to <clears throat> invest some money in because it does all different kinds of things. I just use some baker's twine to make my own like little dangle here. And then of course all these butterflies are the butterflies from the 3D packs which I have here. I'm going to show you guys the little 3D butterflies. I have these ones and then I did show you 
some of the stickers before I use them in that little clip, but it's all the really pretty stickers that came from the Dollar Tree. They're so springy and naturey, which I absolutely love. So that's what totally um, inspired me to do these little mini pocket letters for spring. And I did even use the little um, foam pop little squares that I found in the automotive section of Dollar Tree to kind of pop up stuff and you know make it look 3d but i love how this turned out i think this turned out really 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 cute and then um that one's definitely very springy but i think this one is too but i just did this one more succulents if you guys have been with me for a length of time you may have remembered this haul i was freaking out because they actually had sticko stickers at the dollar tree you know, usually stickos are anywhere between like, you know, $2.99 to $3.99. So to be able to find them at the Dollar Tree was amazing. And I found the succulent stucco stickers and I thought that was great. <clears throat> and I just mixed that in with the um, butterfly again, the 3D uh, butterfly die cuts that we found at the Dollar Tree. Again, this is the sequence that I picked up from the Dollar Tree as well. I just mixed those in and I just popped one of the stickers right in the back. I thought that was really cool to put in with the shaker pocket. And I really, really love how this one turned out as well. And to me, it still speaks um, spring in my personal opinion. But I really love the colors and I love how all this one pulled together. I think they're both very pretty and very unique. Um, it's been a long time since I've made pocket letters. I used to be a big pocket letter craze kind of person. I did them constantly for happy mail swaps and all different kinds of project shares and things like that. I think I got totally burnt out and put them down and haven't done them for such a long time. But every once in a while I get inspired to redo them and when they turn out like this they're a lot a lot of fun. So I just thought I'd share them with you guys real quick. This is just kind of some of the stuff that I'm filling my time with besides sleeping a lot. I still feel like I can't, I still feel like I have to take mid-afternoon naps. I get winded and tired so quickly still, but I believe by next week I should be fully, fully recovered and hopefully some of this, um, world pandemic thing will have kind of blown over, hopefully, and we can get out of our houses and do some, some normal things. I like to try some new things and, um, you know, do a thrifty Thursday, but like none of the thrift stores are open here. Um, a lot of our stores are closed. Um, I asked my sister the other day if she'd stop in over at the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Tree down by me is closed. I don't know if all Dollar Trees are closed or if it's just the one down here by me, but it's like all of my favorite places are not even open right now. <laughs> so this is kind of what I'm doing. I'm just doing some crafts and hanging out. But I hope everybody's surviving this pandemic. Stay calm. Stay close to the Lord. Think thought positive things. Keep busy. Rest. <laughs> Take this time to uh, rest, I guess. And I don't know. <laughs> All I can do is laugh. But anyways, I thought I would just share these with you because I thought they turned out really, really cute for Dollar Tree. This is all Dollar Tree products, and I think for a Dollar Tree product, they turned out pretty, pretty good. I shouldn't say they're all, because some of the washi isn't from the Dollar Tree, but pretty much all the stickers and paper and such is. So for I think for Dollar Tree, they turned out pretty nice. So even for cheap, you can make a cute little happy mail, and what better way to brighten somebody's day who's kind of stuck at home and a little depressed because we can't live our normal lives to receive fun, happy, bright spring happy mail. So I just want to say thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope my voice wasn't too, too bad. I have some fun things planned. I hope I'm back to full swing of things and I can get back out and, and do some of my normal recording. But if not, I guess a lot of more crafty things are coming your way. But I'm going to go, guys. I wish you guys the best. Stay safe. Take care of you. Don't panic. Remain calm. If this too shall pass, I really believe it will. This too shall pass. We will get through this. Spring is right around the corner. Better days are ahead of us. They're not behind us. I love you guys. I'll be talking to you in the next video. Until then, as always, take care of you. Do what you love. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye, guys.